Okay, pretty gang, it is Jan, your exclusive startup business coach. Actually, this video in particular is brought to you by the Braid Hair for Cash course. Check it out in the description below. So I'm gonna talk about three things that us braiders need to keep in mind, especially our brand new braiders. Some of y'all brand new braiders, take a seat. I'm about to smash some of y'all wigs real quick. Like this one. Okay. First things first, if you do not know how to do a hairstyle, do not, I repeat, do not put it on your website, do not put it on your Instagram, do not put it on your TikTok, Twitter, nothing, honey. Do not have people paying you for something that you cannot produce and you cannot provide. I had my, uh, one of my close friends, she went and she took her daughter to get her hair done by a quote unquote braider girl. The girl, baby girl came back looking like she had her hair done by a brand new braider, okay? So do me a favor. If you do not know how to do a certain hairstyle, do not, I repeat, do not promote it. Do not advertise it, okay? Second thing is if you do know how to do a hairstyle, but you have a preference of hairstyles you like to do, I need you to promote the hairstyles you like to do. If you don't like to do individuals, but you like to do uh, flat braids, uh, fishtails, um, two layers, one layers, whatever, I need you not to promise something that you are not willing to provide. It's no point of putting certain things on your website while, or on your Instagram. While it makes your Instagram or your website look better being filled up, I'd rather you put on your Instagram exactly what you're willing to do versus what you know how to do. Like me, for example, my preference is to do one layer, two layers. Can I bust down some box braids? Absolutely, because you'll see those coming. So, can I bust down some um, uh, my, uh, mini individuals, micro individuals? Yes, ma'am, I can. However, I don't like doing that. But here's a tip. For those of you guys home who want to be booked and braided and make good money braiding, it's in your best interest to go ahead and create some of your, uh, not create, it's best that you go ahead and book people who want to pay for your more expensive styles, right? Would you rather do one day of two individuals, right? Or would you rather do four, uh, one layers, two layers? So please, if you have a preference for doing hair and a certain hairstyle, I need you to promote that. Okay, number three, I need you to be able to say no. I done told y'all this before, but I know everybody doesn't come across every single video that I have. Make sure you're checking out my braid hair for cash playlist or my um, how to become a braider hair list. But I want you to make sure, okay, do me a big, big favor. Okay, I need you to say no. You could turn down a client. I'd rather you turn down a $60 client, a $100 client, then go ahead and do with the client. The client ends up being somebody that you're not. Um, that you don't want to service, then it ends up being somebody that is going to leave you a bad review and is going to make your business um, or going to promote your business or put a stain on your business, okay? So, so for those of you guys who do not know, again, my name is Jen, your exclusive startup business coach. Make sure in the description below you're checking out my Braid Hair for Cash course, or you can check out my replay where how I tell you how I started my braid business with $10 for $10. So I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.